From this episode going forward, I want to talk about reasons as to why you should take an opportunity even when you are overqualified. You could walk away from it, but you're overqualified. The caveat here is that you already know who you, who you are, what you want in life, and you actually know what your purpose in life is. And someone comes and they give you an opportunity, which is a far cry from what you are worth and maybe what you envisage you'll be doing in life. Right? The reason as to why you should take it. And from today's episode going forward, I'm going to give you four or five reasons in different episodes why I think you need to take that opportunity. So stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namalik. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Immediately after college or high school college yes immediately after college and remember by the way this college i'm talking about is a two-year course because i missed the opportunity to go to university for different reasons i was a sharp guy and i just joked around in high school i got a b minus instead of a b i missed uh, university by two points i was supposed to get 65 points i got 63 and so i didn't get the course that i needed to take and so on and so forth and so what happened is that i found myself in a college and I did my best in that particular college and I got out of it with a higher diploma in man- management information systems. And so I'm home, jobless. Actually, not even my my home. A family friend's home just took me in so that I can sort out, I can figure my way out as I wait. So what happened? What happened to me? What happened is that I was jobless, but I was enrolled at a job searching bureau. These are guys who will send their tentacles around and if they get you a job, you're going to give them part of your salary, first salary. And that's the agreement. And so what happened is that uh, a job comes and I rush there like a madman. You know, I was so happy. And I'm taken to, I'm given a, a small interview by these guys and they specifically wanted someone who has computer knowledge, Right. And then uh, after I passed that interview because I'd had a diploma in management in fashion systems and I'd uh, done computers and so on and so forth, they take me to a cellar upstairs, darkened, dusty, right? My responsibility did not involve any computer at all. My responsibility involved getting the recycle bins of these guys, the physical recycle bins, and just scurrying around in them looking for phrases in some of the papers, because someone had sued them or they were suing someone and they were looking for evidence. For the life of me, I stopped and wondered, asking myself one big question. What am I doing here? And I broke down and I wept. I wept because of what my life had become or what I thought my life had become at that moment in time. I wept because I thought there was no hope for me. I worked because I thought that that job was my destiny. I was wrong. Of course, my fears and so on and so forth are good uh, signs that I should lean into them and I should, you know, consider. But looking back, right now looking back, how many years back, I can, I'm not going to tell you, maybe 20 years back, looking back, I am happy I took that opportunity. 
But I'm looking in retrospect to share with you this. Sometimes you are going to be given an opportunity where you are overqualified. Your worth is way above what these guys are, are able to pay up. What do you do? I've asked, I've asked you already in the previous episodes. Take the job. Take the opportunity. Why? That's the question that you're asking me. Why should I take that opportunity? I'm going to give you one reason today. Reason number one. Staying in the game. There is such a thing as a game in life. This man called Simon Sinek has written a powerful book that I recommend for you to go and read. It's called The Infinite Game. If you have a mindset of the infinite game, then you would know that taking this opportunity is part of staying in the game. Because if you are not in the game, the ball is not going to be given to you. The ball is always going to be passed to someone who is in the feed and they are playing. You sit outside, you're either spectator or you're warming the bench. The coach is outside because he is in the game already. The management that owns the team, they are in the game already. So you gotta get into the game, even if you are a ball boy, so to speak. The reason as to why, the number one reason as to why you should take a, an oppos- a, a position that is lowly is it keeps you in the game. You need momentum in this life. You need consistency in, the li- in this life. You need to be doing something with your mind. The more you are working, even when something is lowly, especially if you've tuned your mind to understand that this ain't my destiny this is just a life game i'm playing it's an infinite game there are no winners there are no losers and as long as i'm part of the game the ball might come on my side and i might be able to score a goal in my very first articles i ever wrote i said that action is the greatest antidote for fear in fact it was the first article i ever wrote on my blog that action is the biggest antidote for fear. When there is fear and you are doing nothing, it becomes a big, huge, dinosaur, monstrous thing. But I'm telling you, the moment you move your leg and you start doing something, that fear starts evaporating, not even decreasing in size, just fizzling now, just going, evaporating. But staying in the game helps you in killing that fear that tells you that you are hopeless, you are worthless, you never amount to anything. That is why at times I advocate for any kind of action to be taken in life just for the sake of staying sane, staying relevant and staying in the game. Just take any kind of action Sweep the streets, wash the toilets, clean the cars, wash people's clothes, be the servant, be the steward, but by all means take action and do something even if they're paying you something is paltry. Do it. The CEO of Dream University, Marsha Weida, introduced me to the term that I have you know, never fail talking about is she says that it exists in, in, in biology. The term is called apoptosis. You know what apoptosis is? It means that when the body feels like when the body feels like it has outlived its usefulness, the brain sends signals to the rest of the body, the re- the, the other parts of the body that they are no longer needed and at that moment in time people, organizations and entities they start disintegrating and ultimately they die basically apoptosis is a process of death biologically entropy you know what entropy is the law of entropy it says that if you leave something and this has happened to me before if you leave something unattended to it disintegrates but the more it is in motion the more it it, it works the car i'm driving it was left for maybe two years in a garage. When you got out of the garage, the gearbox wasn't working. The more you are doing nothing, the law of entropy is working on you. I'd rather you are overqualified and you are doing something than 
have a spirit of pride and saying me i am from this university and i have this kind of papers i'm gonna i'm not gonna do nothing like cleaning cars people organizations and entities they start disintegrating and ultimately die when nothing is happening to them so don't be a candidate of apoptosis or apoptosis you risk going through this you know when you're waiting for your vision to come to pass when you're waiting for the ideal job to come to pass as you're waiting apoptosis is also working unless my friend unless you also have a series of activities that you're doing maybe volunteer work you're doing volunteer work here and there you're doing something with your physical body and so on and so forth as unless these um, activities that you're doing in the back in the background i would advise you when someone has offered you a job that you are overqualified i would really advise you to take it for number one reason you are going to stay in the game you need to be staying in the game you'd rather be in the game even if you're the least of the players in the game you are much 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 more powerful much better increasing in your worth when you are in the game and you're the lowliest in the game you are much more powerful than the man or the woman who is outside of the game and they have their worth to show for it they just the only thing they have to show for them being outside of the game is their worth their pedigree pedigree that comes from what you did in the past is nothing as compared to pedigree that comes from what you're doing now even if it's lowly when your mindset has been changed to understand that you are an in, in an infinite game and this lowly thing it is not your destiny could it be that taking that lowly job though over qualified would be a much better bet than staying at home doing nothing think about that even as you consider your options tomorrow we look at the second reason as to why i am requesting or i am leaning towards people taking a lowly job at this moment in time as they await the ideal but for today know this taking it you are staying in the game staying in the game or being in the game is 20 times 100 times 1000 times much more powerful than being outside of it because you're overqualified tomorrow we continue until then bye bye Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh clean and inspiring.